May 21st marked the first day of the two sessions Congress meetings when the Chinese Communist Party's announcement that the MPC National People's Congress will promulgate new national security laws for Hong Kong, which upset the world. A CCP insider source revealed to the Epoch Times that the national security law plan is a strategy to suffocate the protest by imbuing fear and hopelessness within Hong Kongers and eliminating Western involvement. Per the source, Beijing intentionally hopes to produce an overwhelming atmosphere of fear in Hong Kong through its announcement of the new national security laws. The CCP's Hong Kong political party, the DAB, Democratic Alliance for the Betterment and Progress of Hong Kong, will then push Hong Kong to enact its own national security laws, forcing Hong Kongers to choose between the lesser of the two evils. A successful enactment of Hong Kong's own security laws would reflect favorably on the DAB and other pro-CCP parties, allowing them to win more seats in the upcoming Legislative Council election in September. Beijing prepared these plans over six months ago, with pre-established support from multiple pro-CCP groups. China Central Television, CCTV, will lead media propaganda with follow-up coverage from left media outlets in Hong Kong. In the weekend leading up to the announcement of the national security laws, CCTV released this two-part documentary titled Another Hong Kong, exploring the truth behind the controversy over the extradition bill, which Hong Kong's TVB also played. The documentary shows Hong Kongers as violent rioters without touching on any of their demands. China-funded businesses will pay for mass advertisements and mobilize chambers of commerce, professional associations, and township associations to take Beijing's side, all to create a consensus in support of the new national security laws. Despite usually standing alone during press conferences, Carrie Lam was seen standing with the entire pro-Beijing government to announce their support for national security laws in an effort to present an image of widespread support. The original plan was set to start in February, right after the trade deal signing with the United States, but COVID-19 outbreak sidetracked the timing. Another factor that affects timing, the deterioration of China's international relations. According to the Epoch Times source, Beijing believes U.S.-China relations won't recover in the near future and is entering a maintenance mode in relations with other Western countries. The CCP worries that Hong Kong will become the Western world's entry into China's affairs. They want to enact the Hong Kong national security laws as soon as possible, by the end of the year at the latest, to eliminate the chance of Western involvement. Already, 200 parliamentarians and lawmakers from 23 countries issued a joint statement condemning Beijing's decision, saying, quote, the integrity of one country, two systems, hangs by a thread, end quote. China's Central Coordination Group for Hong Kong and Macau Affairs will coordinate the effort directly. The Hong Kong and Macau Affairs Office, the United Front Work Department, the Central Propaganda Department, the Ministries of Public Security, National Security, Economics and Trade, and the People's Bank of China have all been told to cooperate. The CCP may also dispatch the Guangdong Armed Police Security Force to Hong Kong. Various armed police logistics equipment have been shipped to the Hong Kong Military Battalion. China's National People's Congress is currently drafting the necessary legislation. On May 28th, the CCP's rubber stamp Congress will vote on the resolution. The new national security laws may be implemented in Hong Kong as early as August of this year.